CodeJam is Google's programming competition. We mainly do it for fun, just because we love programming. Contestants get really difficult programming problems that most people might not be able to solve in a week, but you somehow need to solve it in a couple hours. And you can compete from anywhere as long as you have a laptop computer and internet connection. We have people from every continent virtually that are competing, and it's a really amazing online global community. I love Code Jam because it's very engaging. Uh, it, everybody that gets involved just really loves it, very passionate about it. It provides access to people around the world to engage with our engineers at Google and also each other. I think my favorite thing about Code Jam events is meeting all the other people. It's nice to see a lot of the people who have been doing this for as long as I have and a lot of new faces as well. They are often funny and have a clever story or puns or like something other than just conveying what the task is. I just love the sort of like playful, thoughtful nature of the problem statements. They've presented these kind of fun situations. A lot of programming day to day is uh, filled with stuff that kind of gets in the way of the fun part of the problem. So we abstract all that away and we just focus on the core of the problem. So my favorite is C++. C++. C++, it's just familiarity. If you don't know what you're doing, you can really do something wrong. But if you do know what you're doing, it gives you a lot of power. Now I'm starting to get a feel of our languages being better at some specific task. Mostly use Python. Uh, that's not always the best choice for coding in a competition. The time that you lose on that, sometimes you save because it's easier to debug in Python. They use many languages in CodeJam. I would guess 100 plus, maybe. One that uses Shakespearean language. There's one that's purely based on white space. There's one that's based on lolcat speak. We've even had a contestant use a language that they wrote uh, completely on their own. Practice is the most important thing. Like it's most important than knowing algorithms or knowing math. I think my advice is just try previous problems from previous years, and you will find some of them that are just way too hard, and that's fine. Just do as many easier problems like the first couple in the ball rounds and the like A problems in the round ones. Just do as many of those as you can. Oh my gosh, yeah. There were a few years or well, maybe a couple of years where we were actually changing problems during the finals. Right before we were going to have the finals, we had everything set up perfectly, and then uh, a, a fuse blew or something, and uh, all the power went out, all the computers were down. We almost served one of our contestants a problem that he had already kind of written himself, which would have been bad. We really try not to do that anymore. <laughs> CodeJam is important to me because it's basically a Google product that our engineers work on. They put so much passion into it. I think CodeJam is good for the community because it gives people an opportunity to test their skills, uh, meet a lot of great people, and uh, learn a lot. Like everybody in the community I've met has been really like polite and friendly and eager to help other people learn. So it's a great group. It's a really honor for me to work uh, with our CodeJam engineers and also to bring CodeJam to more people around the world.